Mr. Rector, Mr. Walker, my name is Gustav. Welcome to the Lorraine Estate. We are so pleased to be hosting guests from the U.S. Embassy for tonight's soiree. Thank you. I understand you came straight from the airport. You will want to rest and bathe. The other guests won't be arriving for a few hours. Do you mind if we look around first? If you like, please enjoy yourselves. Look at this place. I should really change. Good thing Dexter sent us those tuxes. Later. I want to get as much information on Alessandra as I can before the other guests arrive. Yes, sir. Alessandra Lorraine is the next candidate for Livia Drusilla. I need to investigate her to see if she's a match or not. Are you comfortable, Carl? Good. I would be more comfortable with a slice of the cake I saw the caterers bringing in. <laughs> I have no doubt about that. But you know it's bad for you. I see you have guests. I'll talk to you later. Well, gentlemen, come in. Must be Carl Lorraine. He doesn't look very well or very comfortable. Are you Herr Lorraine? I'm Malachi Rector. The US Embassy called to say I'd be arriving. Ah, uh, I did hear something of the sort. Perhaps we can talk tomorrow. I'd prefer to speak to you now. I don't have the energy tonight, and I've still the party to get through. Tomorrow. It's a calligraphy pen. Natural sciences. Someone has quite an interest in astronomy. Classic novels. I enjoyed fiction as a boy, but no longer. What is the point? Biographies of famous people, including Mein Kampf. Lovely. Reference books, maps, encyclopedias, and astrology guides. Oh dear. The tables are nicely dressed. Better than we are, in fact. Glasses of wine. Probably a decent vintage, too. Those hors d'oeuvres look quite good, actually. No expense spared. 
chocolate cake. It looks quite good if you care for that sort of thing. Maybe I will take a slice of this cake. Alessandra Lorraine. She looks like the photo in my dossier. Might I offer you a slice of cake? Oh, oh yes, I... thank you. Are you feeling better now? Quite. The doctors tell me sugar is bad for my health, but it does make me feel more alert, at least for a short time. Yes, well, before that buzz wears off, would you answer a few questions? Very well. May I ask after your health? You don't look well. well. That is honest of you. I had a heart attack six months ago, then pneumonia. I'm improving. So glad to hear it. What role do you have in politics? I was a member of the Swiss Federal Council up until a year ago, but currently I work to regain my health. I believe you have a son with Alessandra? How old is he? Laurent, he's just over a year old. He's perfect. But I suppose all fathers think so. Do they? How old was your wife when she gave birth? Oh, well, let's see. We had been married a year. She was 22. Tell me about Alessandra. Do you have something specific in mind? Does Alessandra have an interest in politics? No, she does not. Alessandra is quite lovely. Has she ever won any awards for her beauty? If you mean a beauty contest, no. That sort of thing is not for people of our class. Both she and Helene did high fashion modeling for a short time. Perhaps that counts. That's helpful, yes. What are Alessandra's interests? She enjoys fashion design. She designs her own clothes, you know. Is that what you mean? Yes. Thank you. Excuse me for a moment, Herr Lorraine. Yes, of course. Excuse me, are you Alessandra Lorraine? Yes, uh, how do you do? I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted making sure everything is ready for tonight. Have we met? No, I'm Malachi Rector. I'm here from the US Embassy. Oh, charming! I do hope you enjoy your visit to our lovely home. I'm sure I will. Do you have a moment for a few questions? Well, perhaps just a moment. Tell me about your husband, Herr Lorraine. Carl? Do you wish to speak to him? He's around somewhere. You might try the library. I hear you have a young son, madame. Laurent? Oh, yes. He is so sweet and so pretty. <laughs> of course, he won't be seen tonight. His nurse must have him in bed by now. So, are you enjoying your stay in Zurich? I always enjoy Zurich. 
Your husband is an important man. Do you enjoy political life? Well, I do enjoy the people we get to meet. The heads of state and the celebrities. And I adore entertaining. I met your husband. I take it he's not well? Oh, no. It's so difficult for him. Well, that is what stress can do to a man. That's why I never like to discuss heavy matters. Life should be easy and fun. Don't you agree? Quite. And what do you do with your time, madame? Oh, um, I love to travel and see the sights, uh, be out with my friends, and we entertain a great deal here at the estate. Oh, have you had some wine, Mr. Rector? Please, feel free to walk around. The gardens are lovely this time of the evening. Thank you. Perhaps I will. Thank you for your time. Of course. Mr. Walker. Yes, sir? Alessandra keeps taking her cell phone out of her purse. I need to get my hands on it and find out what's on there. Right. If you distract her, I can lift it from her purse. So you object to flirting but not pickpocketing? I was in the military, sir. <laughs> well, far be it from me to argue. Fine, just be ready. I believe I will. Excuse me, I was going to ask if those doors lead to- Oh, my gown! Oh, it's ruined. I'm so sorry, that was terribly clumsy of me. I'm sure it was not intentional. Pardon me. I must change. Très galant. It worked, didn't it? Give me the phone. I wonder who Alessandra is angry with. If I can get her to go to that meeting, maybe I can find out. Might I have a word, Gustav? As you wish. When the Embassy contacted you, perhaps they mentioned that I might need some information. I am here to provide anything you need, Mr. Rector. Within a reason. There was a lovely young woman speaking to Herr Lorraine in the library. Who was she? Uh, that's Helene, Alessandra's sister. Ah, I thought there was a resemblance. Tell me about Alessandra. She is lovely, charming. What would you like to know? Does she have any hobbies or interests? She enjoys many things in life. I'm sure she would be happy to tell you herself. Tell me about Karl Lorraine. Everyone in the household is very fond of Herr Lorraine. It is sad that he is not in the best of hells. Oh? What's the matter with Herr Lorraine? It is not my place to say, but as you can see, he is well enough to have these parties in the house. For Alessandra's sake. Tell me more about Helene. If I can. What information do you need? Is Helene older than Alessandra? Younger? One year younger, but she is older in many ways, if you understand me. You really could be more specific. Alessandra, oh, she loves life, people, pleasure. Helene, uh, she is serious, like an old woman. Of course, such a personality is very admirable. Yes, I can see you're flushed with admiration. Are Helene and Alessandra close? Uh, no. They have very different interests in life. You said the party tonight is for Alessandra's sake. What do you mean exactly? Well, uh, Alessandra, being a beautiful young woman, naturally loves parties. But some of Herr Lorraine's politics have not been... Uh, well received. 
So they entertain at home and have trusted friends here. Are you saying the couple is not welcome in society? Oh, no, no, they are, after all, Lorraine's. Only, it is easier to control the guest list in one's own home, and uh, Herr Lorraine is too polite to argue in public. I heard someone mention the term three gongs. What does that mean? Uh, the clock strikes three gongs at half past the hour. I see. Thank you. Thank you, Gustav. You are most welcome. That's Alessandra Lorraine on the left, and her sister Helene on the right. Their birth name is Bernadotte. That's Alessandra Lorraine on the left. I believe those are jasmine flowers. There's a still life by Giovanna Garzoni that features them. The garden has a formal layout, quite nice to look at, but I wouldn't want to have to pay the gardener. There's a statue over there, but it's too far away to tell what it is. The statue is of Hestia, goddess of the hearth. I'll take some of these flowers. This statue is of Hera, Zeus's wife and queen of the gods. I'll take some of these flowers. The fountain looks new. I would have found something ancient to refurbish. There's a statue over there, but it's too... There's a statue over... Th I'll take some of these flowers. There's a statue over there. Someone wants to meet Alessandra here at Three Gongs, but I need to convince her to come. Perhaps a makeup gift would work? What would Alessandra like? I'll take some of these flowers.
That's better. It looks like a bouquet now. Do you mind if I borrow this pen? Not at all. I'll write a message on the ribbon. What should I say? Love you. Drops any woman at ten paces. I'll leave this bouquet where Alessandra can stumble across it. The bait is set. Now to wait for Alessandra to take it. That must be the three gongs mentioned in that text to Alessandra. I still haven't entirely forgiven you, Gustav. You know you were flirting with the caterer. I saw it. Tell me you didn't mean it. That you love only me. <laughs> You're the one who is married. But you know I don't sleep with Carl. It's not the same. You're jealous of everyone, Liebling. Oh, I can't help it. I'm crazy about you. Hmm, we'd better go. It's almost time for the party. I can be late. I can't. I have to answer the door, my sweet. Come on. Well, that was an interesting data point. I have enough data on Alessandra to make an analysis.
I'm sure Alessandra is not Livia Drusilla. But I want to look around a little more before I finalize my report. <laughs> 